Hello everyone, we are Consumer Karma. I'm Kimberly Spillman. Hi everyone, my name is Bianca. Hi, I'm Anne. Yeah, I'm Chris. So here at Consumer Karma, we want everyone to know that every time you purchase a product, you're casting a vote in favor of that business, its values and practices, both good and bad, whether you know it or not. And so the problem is, is that consumers don't have a central um, way to access information on these businesses, their practices, and their values. Um, and so what Consumer Karma does is it makes it a, an easy to use application that a consumer can access virtually anytime, anywhere, preferably when they're shopping, um, to pull up all this information and help them decide on which products they want to they want to purchase and what businesses they want to support. Anyway, Chris will take you through. Uh, so what we have here is an Android native application and let's say I'm a consumer and I want to search for a product. Um, so there's mainly three ways of how to do this. Uh, for now, let's do a text search. Um, so let's say I'm searching for Hershey. So that's going to search, and we use Parse as our backend to do that query. And we get here um, three matches. So let's click on Hershey's chocolate. And after we click on that list, um, it basically gives us more information about that product, product name, company, description. And if you guys can see uh, these different numbers over here and categories, those are actually the consumer karma categories that um, we sort of uh, came up with, which basically mentions kind of like uh, the ethical sort of practices of, of uh, this specific product with, um, with a measure from zero to 10. Um, so so that, that's the text search. And we also have a couple of other features we want to show you guys. Um, do, you wanna, do you wanna show the speech? One minute. Yep. So, um, So this is doing a, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Hang on one second. So we have text to speech that you can enter so you're at the store and Hershey. you want to buy something. And then it will search via the text to speech. So that, I think there's too much noise, but it's target. Hershey. Okay, <laughs> it's not recognizing my speech, but uh, we're basically using uh, the AT&T speech to text uh, API for that. And lastly, we also use a barcode scanner, which is uh, the Z crossing. So we have an Oreo box right here. Um, can you flip it? Is it finding? I think you have to do it the other way. <laughs> so that found a match and um, it found Oreo. So, yeah, that's basically our application. Awesome. Pass <laughs> this up for us. There's also like a web component if you want to. Well, we're out of time. I'm sorry. Uh, are you linking to any of the challenges? The three challenges? No. Okay. Yeah, no, we're just the general the general social good challenge. Great job, guys. I really like it. Um, one question is, where are you pulling that data about the companies? Or do you, you know, scrape CSR reports, or what are you looking at? So how we are gathering our data is we're crowdsourcing from users. We're going to have user-generated data with an expert moderator um, that will come in and rate it. And so basically what we're going to be doing is rating how the, it's pretty simple. You go in, check box, for example, is it up there? Um, well, that's fine. Like um, political affiliations. Check box, have a reference, and then your users can rate the believability of the reference and comment on it. And then an expert moderator will come in and approve it, delete it, spam, things like that. 
So what it is, it's making an easier step for the moderator to source this information um, easily, cost-effectively. So the purpose of the web application is to add references for how you've gotten your data, and then an expert will come in and verify. Yeah, so this is not local shop, but um, since um, it's harder to uh, input information on the phone, we decided to have it also like a web component. Um, where someone can search a product that they want to input information for it and also um, see the ratings as well as upvote or downvote um, what they think each rating should be. Did we say everything that we used? Um, I think we might be out of time. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.